At Judy and Rob, climate change impacts certain communities more than others, and local scientists are trying to find out why by releasing weather balloons into the air and capturing data on rising temperatures. They'll use that information to build more equitable solutions to climate resilience. The very architecture that makes our city famous may be creating what the United States Environmental Protection Agency calls heat islands. Trees, buildings, the asphalt, the pavement, they all play a role in the temperatures that we feel. He gets trapped between buildings and with limited ventilation, that can make the ground level feel like a furnace. They may absorb heat and that's why it's so hot inside and they emit heat. And that's why working in along the street level, you may have uh, hotter temperatures than if you were somewhere else, you know. Uh, also why trees mitigate some of that. Three, two, Now, local researchers are participating in a nationwide project known as Community Research on Climate and Urban Science Urban Canyon Project, or CROCUS. It aims to understand and mitigate the effects of urban heat islands on the people who live in cities like Chicago. It's a very diverse city with a lot of environmental justice issues, and so it's a perfect place to, to really understand and tease out all those different parts of climate change and how they play out in, in different kinds of communities. Researchers are focusing on Chatham, Humble Park and Woodlawn, neighborhoods primarily inhabited by people of color and disproportionately affected by climate change. We care about climate because, number one, we're the original environmentalists, if I may say so. And that conservation lifestyle has really deep spiritual roots in our community. Public awareness campaigns are also underway to educate residents about how urban design affects their daily lives and encourage community involvement in greening initiatives. We try to engage with, with youth, with community members, so that we are not just invading their community, but working with them. We're educating the neighbors, bringing them in for food truck. The Crocus team will use what they've learned and explore solutions like green roofs and walls, increasing urban greenery, and using reflective and lighter colored building materials to combat rising temperatures. If we don't start doing it, we'll never know how to do it. All right, so Crocus Urban Canyon is funded by the U.S. Department of Energy. The project ended this past Monday. Right now, researchers are reviewing the data they have collected. So it's just so important to have these projects going on behind the scene because we need this information, we need this data to help our infrastructure for the way that our climate is changing. Yeah, it makes sense. So and so these projects are necessary. They're reviewing the data so we can have a follow-up soon coming up. When yes, you know. exactly. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.